Well, 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 I owe Brendan Schaub my most sincere apology because in a stunning turn of events, he has been named the number one dad in all of podcasting by the most trustworthy podcast news source, The Podcast Magazine. In my recent playlist, I've been documenting the entire situation where Brendan Schaub was exposed by Bobby Lee and Kalila, and with him now officially being the number one dad in all of podcasting, I understand that I couldn't have been more wrong in all of my previous videos. So again, Brendan, I apologize. Now, I know sarcasm doesn't always come across over the internet, so for those who have low emotional intelligence, I was clearly being sarcastic in this intro, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why Brendan Schaub being ranked the number one dad by Podcast Magazine is kind of a joke, so let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the legitimacy of the ranking. So the only places that I saw them advertising that they were doing a top dads in podcasting ranking was on their social media accounts, and despite these accounts having thousands of followers, the engagement on these posts was extremely low, so there weren't that many replies or likes or anything like that. And this makes me assume that they probably didn't receive that many submissions, and it makes me wonder how they selected our boy Brendan Schaub as number one. If Podcast Magazine actually had a pulse on podcast culture, there is no chance they would select Brendan Schaub as number one given all of the recent events and drama that has surrounded him. And in support of his number one ranking, there is an article on their website which really feels like a PR piece. The article begins with Brendan Schaub's hero origin story, coming up as a fighter, and then talks about how he went from a fighter into a comedian slash podcaster, and throughout trickles in little hints of why he is such a good dad and such a good person. And again, it really just feels like a PR piece, and I wouldn't be shocked if Brendan Schaub had a huge say in what the talking points were. And I'll point out that the image used here in this article is actually from the Gringo Poppy special, and when I reverse Google image searched this image, uh, nothing came up. So Brendan Schaub's team definitely sent them this image from the Gringo Poppy photo shoot, and they even used this image as their magazine cover and in turn on all of their social handles, where on their Twitter banner photo, they interestingly only show the top of Brendan Schaub's head, which is a very interesting creative choice. And a really nice addition of comedic value to this article is at the bottom, they misspelled Gringo Poppy in the tag, so it's Gringo Poppy. So so to the podcast magazine team, I'm flagging that here for you to go fix that up on your site. But anyways, I think I've covered why I think this ranking is kind of baloney and that Brendan Schaub probably wasn't ranked number one without maybe paying for that placement or some type of other PR negotiation tactic. Uh, but yeah, this will likely be my last Brendan Schaub video unless there are any further updates to the Tiger Belly drama situation. So if you enjoyed this recap or any of my other videos, definitely make sure to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And if there are any other internet drama situations that you'd like me to cover, definitely let me know in the comments section down below. But anyways, that's going to be it for me today, everybody. So take it easy. Peace.